this is stupid to have dogs on the, on the waterfront. If you're a dog owner wanting to take a stroll along the White Rock Promenade, you'd have to leave your pet behind until now. That's because the city has lifted its ban on walking dogs here as part of a pilot project for the next six months. The reaction from the public is mixed. We're very happy, and so is Bailey. Dog owners who live in the city say the move has them and their pets wagging their tails for joy. It's great you know, that we can enjoy the ocean finally together as a family. It's nice because we feel guilty coming out here without our dog, right? Going for a walk without your dog is kind of silly. But Rick Wallace says this isn't welcome news. I'm uh, angry and disappointed. He's been selling art along the promenade since 2013. And despite clear signs asking dogs to stay out of his tent, his wishes have not always been respected. I had a dog with a full bladder. Uh, squirt, 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 squirt five times on a crate with $1,500 worth of artwork. I have chased other dogs away from the, this display. I cleaned up personally around my stand here, uh, picked up dog feces. The mayor insists council is being fair to all residents with a trial running in the off season. And if something like that is consistently happening, I'm going to suggest to you that this will be a one and done trial period. It's up to the dog owners to show the responsibility we expect them to show. Dogs still can't go on the pier and they have to be on leash at all times. The city says a task force will evaluate the project at the end of the trial to determine if this should be a yearly event. They're on a probation, I think, <laughs> the dogs. In White Rock, Isabel Regam, City News.